make sure you have enough fabric to cover fabric to cover the shoe. I'm going to leave the heel on this wedge out. So we're going to start off by just applying a layer of Mod Podge, and I accidentally spilled glue inside of the shoe. I couldn't see it from the level that I'm I'm sitting at, but the camera is above my head, and so it's pretty obvious from there. But eventually, I did see uh, the glue inside of the shoe and wiped that out. So apply a layer of Mod Podge over the areas of the shoe where you're going to attach the fabric. Has a little stretch to it, the old shirt. And it has that fall autumn look that I'm going for to start the front of the shoe. Let's get that nice and snug around. I'm not cutting, not cutting. The Mod Podge is not fast drying, well, at least on a smooth surface, but this is a suede shoe, so it does dry a little bit faster. So you have some time to maneuver and make adjustments where necessary. I'm gonna cut a nice, neat vertical line down the back where the seam would be. Hopefully you can see it, but I'm, I'm cutting just straight uh, and downward. This is the right shoe, so my seam is going to fold leftward. So this side that is on the inner corner, inner side of the shoe, I'm gonna fold that first. I wanna just make a nice neat fold. So I'm gonna trim off some excess and it's fun to see your work start to develop. So I'm going to put this shoe aside, let it mold, let it dry, do the other shoe. We're gonna let these ladies dry. So now it's time to trim. So take your razor precision knife and just slowly trim along where the sole of the shoe meets the upper area of the shoe, exactly where you want to cut off the fabric that you don't need. And just take your time, feel for where that little groove is. You can kind of feel with your finger and slowly, slowly, slowly work across that area. Just clean things up where we need to. So we're just going to make a little slit it's important to have a good pair of shears. You should be able to cut with the tips of the shears. They're really dull if you have to use the inner corner to cut. So where the shoe stops, you want to cut just right along and leave about maybe a quarter to a half an inch. Just following the shape of the shoe. A few slits. The, these corners in slits. Along the shape of the shoe where it's straight, the, the sections can be wider. Make them a little more narrow where it curves. Get some Mod Podge right here in this inner area of the shoe and fold over. And your hands are gonna get going to get messy. Don't don't try to be pretty. I'll fold that over nice and snug. Fold this over nice and snug. Let's let that section dry. You know what? So here I'm just sealing the edges. Just take a tiny bit of glue and dab around to seal the edges and it will dry clear. And after everything dries, you have your finished product made over shoe. So I hope that you liked this video. And if you want to see more, please subscribe because I have another pair of shoes drying as I speak. Bye ladies, see you next time.